Hi! Gusto mo bang makapasok sa isang government institution sa unang application mo pa lang kahit walang backer? If yes, then please keep on watching. Get hired in your first job application kahit wala kang backer. So, ginawa ko tong video na to specifically kapag mag-a-apply ka sa mga government institutions. Pero in case na gusto mong mag-apply sa mga private companies, pwedeng-pwede mo rin gamitin to. So, sa video na to, magbibigay ako ng dalawang part. Sa first part, magbibigay ako ng techniques or sampung techniques paano mo maipapasa yung mismong interview. Plus, magbibigay din ako sa inyo ng walong questions na tinanong sa akin nung interview week ko nung mismong nag-apply ako sa isang government institution. Magbibigay din ako sa inyo ng tips kung paano sasagutan yung questions na yon And of course, kung ano yung sagot ko sa mismong tanong na yon. Okay? So, umpisahan na natin. Pero bago pala yon, magbibigay muna ako sa inyo ng isang positive statement of the day galing to sa positive life tips. Kasi gusto ko kayong i-encourage. Okay? Sabi dito, all dreams come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Okay? So, kung pangarap mong makapasok sa isang government institution, then have courage to pursue that. Okay? Kasi mangyayari at mangyayari yan. Umpisahan na talaga natin. <laughs> Alright, so part 1, as I've mentioned, I will be giving you 10 tips on how to ace your first job interview and land a job. Okay? So, Kung hindi ka naman first time na mag-apply sa isang um, government institution pero pinapanood mo tong video na to, thank you so much. Sana makatulong to sa'yo. Okay? So, number one. So, tip number one is confidence is the key to a successful job interview. So, be confident. Okay? So, Isa to sa pinaka-importante na kailangan baon-baon mo sa mismong araw ng interview. Kailangan confident ka. Kailangan mukha kang fresh. Kailangan nakasmile ka. Kailangan hindi ka nakaslouch. Yung parang nakaupo ka is parang wala sa ulirat. Bawal yun. Kailangan confident ka, nakasmile ka. Medyo nakaporma ka, maayos yung ora mo. Kasi eto yung time na kailangan mong ibenta yung sarili mo sa mismong government institution na yun. So, kailangan isipin mo kung ibebenta mo yung sarili mo, paano ka bibilhe ng kliyente? Kailangan, di ba, maayos ka? Kailangan presentable ka? So, ayun. Number one tip ko talaga sa inyo is maging confident kayo. Next. Tip number two is, ayon, to be confident in answering job interview questions, make sure to prepare. Sa, kasi sobra-sobrang halaga talaga ng pag-prepare ahead of time. So, for example, ang job interview mo ay Friday. Tapos, tinext ka na ng company or ng government institution na pag a mo na... Monday pa lang, tinext ka na, kailangan Monday hanggang Thursday, nagre-review ka na. Kailangan alam mo na yung mga possible na questions na lalabas o na itatanong sa'yo ng interviewee mo. Kasi isipin mo, ang best way para maging confident ka is mag-prepare. Kasi kung hindi ka prepared, paano ka magiging confident? di ba? So, ayun, make sure to prepare. Isang tip ko sa inyo para makapag-prepare kayo ng maigi, mag-download kayo sa App Store ng How to Prepare for a Job Interview na mga application. Tuturuan kayo step by step, okay? Kung ano yung mga pwede nyong gawin. Pwede rin kayo mag-download ng mga interview questions and answers na lumalabas talaga sa mismong interview, okay? So, expect mo na na in English yon. Pero, syempre, pwede mo namang i-revise, ba? So, yon. Make sure to prepare, okay? 
that's one of the top talaga na kailangan mong top tips na kailangan mong gawin. Next. Tip number three is arrive at your interview early. Never ever let your interviewee wait for you. So, eto yung isa pa sa dapat na gawin mo. Kailangan, for example, yung job interview mo is 9 o'clock in the morning. Kailangan mga 8.30 a.m. or 8 a.m. nandun ka na sa mismong building na pag a mo. Okay? Kasi, mas maganda kung syempre mas maaga ka sa magi interview sa sa'yo. Kasi imaginein mo yung sarili mo na late ka for the interview. Ngarag na ngarag ka, syempre nagmamadali ka, pawis na pawis ka, ganyan. Tapos, paano, masasagot mo pa ba ng maayos yung tanong sa'yo in case? Eh, yung heartbeat mo, nag-aano pa. Yung heartbeat mo, ang taas pa kasi, tumakbo ka kasi, ang... Kasi nga, late ka na, ba? Tapos nakakahiya pa, yun pag late ka. Kasi, ibig sabihin nun, hindi ka responsabling tao. Bakit? Araw yan ang interview mo. Tapos, nagpa-late ka. Huwag na, wag na, wag mong gagawin to. Okay lang, mga 15 minutes, early, ganyan. Pwede na yon. Kung ayaw mo ng 1 hour to 30 minutes, pwede naman 15 minutes. Kasi pag, pag ganun, parang marirelax ka pa eh. Makakapag-retouch ka pa kung babae ka makapag-CR ka pa, ganun. Tapos, parang, ma-frame mo pa talaga yung sarili mo. Okay? So, always be early. Kahit na natanggap ka na sa trabaho, ha? Hindi yung during interview lang. Next. Tip number four. Be courteous. Smile at everyone you meet inside the building. So, pagpasok na pagpasok mo pa lang ng, op- ng opisina na yon or ng building na yon Yung guard pa lang na makakasalubong mo, nadadaanan mo, ngitian mo na siya, mag-good morning ka na, mangumusta ka. Lahat na makakasalubong mo sa facility, try to smile at them. Kasi hindi mo nalalaman, isa pala sa mga yan is yung mismong mag interview sa'yo, ba? So kung na mo na siya nung papasok ka pa lang sa building, tapos nakita niya na magalang kang tao, na maaga kang dumating, then plus points yun sa'yo, okay? Plus may mga chances kasi na may mga interviewee na tinatanong nila yung guard for example or yung janitor or janitress kamusta naman yung tao na to nung pumasok sa building magalang ba um, maaga bang dumating and such kasi isang factor din yan para ipa- ipasa ka nila kasi hindi lang naman yung experience yung binabasehan mo eh ay binabasehan nila binabasehan din nila yung character mo yung ugali mo okay so next Tip number five, beat that nervous feeling. So just imagine talking to your colleague or friend during the interview. So ito yung laging pinapaalala sa akin ng tita ko kapag uh, pupunta ako sa mga job interviews. So sinabi ko na kanina na um, kailangan confident ka. So syempre, tanggalin na natin yung nervyos. Uh, normal na yon, oo. Pero wag naman yung... OA or yung sobra, yung parang nangangatog ka na, yung kamay mo nanginginig, nagchichil, nagpapawis ka. Siguro may way naman para kontrolin yun. At yung way doon is pag-prepare, mag-practice. Okay? Then, imaginein mo lang na yung kausap mo, yung nag interview sa sa'yo, imaginein mo na hindi siya mataas na tao. Imaginein mo na parang kaibigan mo lang siya, na pag, parang kakilala mo lang siya, na normal na nakikipag-usap sa'yo. Para hindi, mag, hindi mabigat yung pakiramdam mo sa kanila, hindi ka kinakabahan, okay? Tsaka kailangan hindi ka na, naka-straight yung upo mo ha, kailangan maayos yung upo mo, kailangan uh, nag, nagkakaroon ka ng eye to eye contact sa kanya okay, kasi dun makikita yung sincerity mo next tip tip number 6 is dress neatly dress to impress as they say so sinabi ko nga kanina na Sa mga job interviews, parang binibenta mo yung sarili mo. So, dito ipakita mo yung pinaka the best na ora mo. Pero huwag namang masyadong sobra-sobra pagdating sa mga babae. 
lalo na sa babae, sorry. Ako nung nag-job nag-job interview ako, sa mga long hair, pwede nyong itali yung buhok nyo, ipusod no, yung meat, tapos yung yung lipstick, wag naman yung sobrang pulang-pula, pwede naman yung pink lipstick, tapos magsuot kayo ng white na na earrings kahit yun na lang yung accessories tsaka syempre sabi ko nga maganda dapat yung kasuotan mo yung medyo pang professional na attire, pwede kang magpalda tapos pwede basta wag mong susuotin yung, yung mga bawal like sleeveless o shorts, yan mga bawal talaga yan, okay? so, kailangan ikaw yung pinaka magandang Um, tao sa room na yon sa mismong araw na interview mo. Okay? Kasi pinaka tini- isa rin sa tinitingnan talaga yung ng mga nag interview is yung personality natin. Karamihan sa kanila tumitingin sila sa pleasing personality. Kung sa unang tingin pa lang nila ay eh, kahali-hali na ka na, maganda ka naman na met, mag- maganda ka magdala ng sarili mo, ibig sabihin, maayos din yung magiging performance mo sa trabaho. Parang psychology or iniisip, ganun yung iniisip nila. So, kailangan talaga maayos yung pagsuot mo ng iyong kasuotan. Okay? So, next tip. Tip number seven is answer every question ask ask truthfully do not claim to be something you are so kailangan pag tinanong ka sa interview lahat ng sasabihin mo ay pawang katotohanan lamang sa iyo huwag kang magbabanggit ng mga bagay or mga achievements na ginawa mo na hindi naman talaga nangyari kasi meron silang tinatawag na background check or background investigation. At kapag may sinabi ka doon, tapos napatunayan nila na hindi naman pala totoo, magiging masama ka sa paningin nila, ba diba? So, mas maganda maging honest ka na lang. Then, mas maganda rin na sabihin mo lahat ng totoo, 'di ba? Kasi minsan halimbawa, nag nagsabi ka na mahilig ka pala sa anime. Tapos saktong-sakto yung nag-interview sa iyo, fan pala ng panonood ng anime. Tapos tinanong ka niya ng iba mang ng mga tanong na tungkol sa anime, tapos wala kang nasabi. O, 'di ba? Nakakahiya 'yon. So, parang negative point yun sa kanila. So, ayun. Maging honest ka lang talaga, okay? Maging totoo. Pero huwag mong ilalaglag yung sarili mo, okay? <laughs> so, next tip. Tip number eight. At the end of your job interview, once the interview, we ask you like this, saying, do you have any question or questions for me? Kailangan sabihin mo sa kanila, yes, I have. Then, magtanong ka sa kanila, hindi pwedeng hindi ka magtatanong sa kanila ng kapag tinanong kanila for example nito may tanong ka pa ba para sa akin kailangan meron ka talagang masabi sa kanilang tanong okay kasi ibig sabihin noon parang way nila yon para masabi na nakikinig ka talaga sa sinasabi nila o kaya naman ay interesado ka, pa, ka talaga sa trabahong ina-applyan mo so make sure to ask something na relevant sa ina-applyan mo syempre. Next tip. Tip number 9. Before lockdown, a handshake is a must after the end of the interview. So for now, a bow or a bow with your right hand placed across your chest is enough. Kasi dati, 'di ba, after ng end ng interview, Nakikipag-handshake tayo sa mag-interview sa interview natin, 'di ba? Pero dahil nga may pandemic tayo, hindi na pwede 'yon. Tapos yung bagong way na lang daw para magpakita ng paggalang sa isang tao is ilalagay mo yung right hand mo sa iyong chest then magbabaw ka. Okay? So 'yon. Alright, so last tip Allow God to be part of your job interview process. So, surrender your worries to Him and He'll never fail you. Trust me. Totoo yan. Okay? So, yun. Yun yung sampung tips na pwedeng-pwede mong gamitin kapag mag apply ka sa isang job interview. And trust me, kapag ginawa mo lahat yan, papasa ka. Okay? So, ngayon, sa pangalawang part naman is... 
i-share ko sa inyo yung eight common interview questions na tina- tinanong nga sa akin nung in-interview ako. Tapos ibibigay ko rin sa inyo yung sagot. Okay? So, let's start. So, number one, tell me something about yourself. So, sa lahat-lahat ng tanong, ito yung hindi mawawala kapag mag a ka sa isang um, company. Mapaprivate man yan or public. So, umpisahan na natin. Okay. So, ito yung dalawang tips na may bibigay ko sa'yo kapag sasagutan mo yung question na to. So, number one, the interview is not interested in your life story. Yes, totoo yan. Hindi siya interesado sa kwento ng buhay mo, kaya wag mo nang sabihin kung ilan kayong magkakapatid, kung ilan yung edad nyo, nyo, kung saan ka nakatira, ano yung trabaho ng nanay at tatay mo. Kasi hindi naman talaga sila interesado sa life story mo. Interesado sila sa kung ano yung meron ka na may offer mo sa company para matulungan yung company na lumago. Okay? So, make sure na iwasan mo ng ikwento yung mga mga pangyayari sa buhay mo na hindi naman uh, kailangan, hindi naman relevant sa ina-applyan mong trabaho. Okay? Tsaka may tendency kasi na pag kwento mo yung kwento mo talaga or life story mo, baka maiyak ka lang. So, wag na muna. Okay? So, pangalawang tip ko sa'yo is, yun, focus on giving relevant details like your educational attainment your previous job as well as your special skills and hobbies relevant to the position you're applying for anyway kaya ko to ginawang presentation na to kasi pwede nyo tong screenshot para in case may reminder kayo okay so next okay so eto yung sagot ko sa question na yan para hindi talaga ito yung saktong sinagot ko that time, marami pa akong dinagdag pero kailangan kasi magkasya lang siya sa isang presentation so yan na, yung, yan na muna yan yung sinabi ko hi Mr. Interviewee my name is Naomi C I finished a degree in Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering at the University of Manila last March 2019 I worked as a retail generalist as well as technical service associate associate us at Concentrix days after my graduation. And I am also a passer of career service eligibility, both professional and sub-professional level during that same year. So during my free time, I like reading inspirational books such that of Bo Sanchez. So I believe I am a perfect fit for this position because of my qualifications and relevant experience. I can also easily cope up with changes and I am willing to learn and grow in this company. So, yan yung sagot ko. As you can notice, sa unang part is nagsabi ako ng Hi, Mr. Interviewee. Yan yung pangalan ng mag interview sa sa'yo, okay? So, kailangan sa interview kasi, introduce niya kung ano yung pangalan niya. Kailangan matandaan mo yon okay? Kasi, yun yung um, way nila, or yeah, yun yung way nila para ma-recognize na, ay, nakikinig pala tong taon na to, interested talaga siya. So, tandaan mo yung pangalan na mag-interview sa'yo, tapos pag tinanong kanya nito, batiin mo siya. Hi, Mr. Interviewee, then proceed with your answer. Okay? So, pasensya na medyo mahaba tong video na to. Kinover ko na kasi lahat para isahang video na lang. Next. Job interview question number two. Why did you apply in BPO industry if you finished engineering in college? So, pasensya na kayo ha. In-include ko kasi tong uh, tanong na to. Kasi ito talaga yung tinanong sa akin uh, that time. At medyo nahirapan ako sa tanong na to. So, kung nakaka-relate kayo, yung tipong iba yung tinapos yung course, tapos iba rin yung in-applyan yung trabaho, then pwede yung sagot, pwede yung gamitin tong sagot ko or pwede kayong mag-construct gamit tong ideas ko. So, ito yung uh, tips ko kapag sasagutin mo yung tanong na to. Number one, be truthful or honest with this part but do not ever mention that the reason why you applied for this position is because of compensation. 
Number two is end your answer on a positive note and with a smile. Okay? So, sabi ko nga, maging honest ka lang talaga sa pagsagot sa tanong na to. Pero, wag na wag mong sasabihin na kaya ka nag-apply sa isang company na yon ay dahil malaki ang sahod, mataas ang pasweldo. Wag na wag mong babanggitin yan. Kasi, iisipin ng interviewin niya na ang gusto mo lang kaya ka nag apply sa isang sa kumpanya nila probably ay dahil lang din sa sweldo at hindi dahil sa may maiko-contribute ka talaga sa company. Okay? So next is kailangan tapusin mo yung sagot mo on a positive note. Kailangan positive pa rin at syempre kapag magsasagot ka, lagi kang nakangiti. Okay? So next eto yung sagot ko sa question na yon. Sabi ko dito, the reason why instead of me applying a site engineer or any other position related to what I studied back in college, I chose to apply in a call center company because of a couple of reasons. One of those is that as a fresh graduate, I don't have that much idea with a how to apply process. Plus, I wanted to challenge myself to try something different. So, of course, I'm still looking forward to working with my chosen profession in the future. That's why I applied for this job. Okay? So, as you can see, sinabi ko na dapat, tal- dapat talaga nag-apply ako as site engineer or iba pang position na related sa tinapos ko. Pero pinili ko pa rin mag-apply sa isang call center company dahil nga nung time na yon is hindi ko pa talaga kabisado paano ba mag-apply as site engineer. Hindi ko pa alam yung mga site na um, pwedeng pag-applyan online. Tsaka that time, boom na boom talaga yung call center. So, inapili ko lang talaga yung call center kasi pangarap ko rin ma- um, magsilita ng English kasi bisaya ako. Tapos, pangarap ko rin yung makipag-usap sa mga foreigners. So, ayun, napagbigyan naman. Pero, at the end ng sagot ko dito, eh, sinabi ko naman na, syempre, gusto ko pa rin namang magtrabaho sa tinapos ko, kaya nga gusto ko mag-apply sa um, company nila para, yun, mag- magamit ko rin yung tinapos ko. Okay? So, next. Job interview question number three. Can you work under pressure? Okay, yan yung tinanong sa akin. Ito naman yung tip para paano mo siya sasagutan. So, ito, this question tests how well you're able to cope with changes, pressure, and stress you'll encounter with this job. So, make sure to answer on a positive note. And tip number two, you may tell your personal experience in your previous job if you have, wherein you're able to beat the pressure and achieve your target. So, ito yung sagot ko. I believe that pressure is always present in our workplace, so I try my best to cope up with it the best I can. In fact, I have an experience with my previous job as a retail generalist wherein I am faced with pressure daily as I am taking in calls from irate callers because of their concerns that needs to be addressed. So I still manage to assist them with grace and so they felt satisfied at the end of every call. So yes, I can definitely work under pressure. So yun lang po yung sagot ko doon. Next, job interview question number four. What are your strengths? So, hindi to nawawala sa interview. Make sure to take note of this. Ang tip ko dyan is make sure to highlight your experience, your skills, your abilities, what makes you stand out among the rest, and what are your traits that will make you appropriate for the job. And number two, never say something like, my parents are my strength or our God is my number one source of strength. So that might be true, but it isn't what the interviewee wants to hear from you. Okay? So may mga nakikita kasi akong videos online na pag tinanong sila, what are your strengths? Sasab- sasabihin nila, my parents are my, are my strengths. Tama yon. 
Pero, hindi yun yung gustong malaman ni interviewee sa'yo. Gusto niyang malaman ano ba yung kayahan mo? Ano yung ma-offer mo sa company? Ano yung mapapala namin sa'yo? Parang ganun. So, eto yung sagot ko. One of my greatest strengths is that I always make sure I am able to complete the tasks assigned to me on time and properly executed. I can also easily adapt to working with new people as I used to work with teams with my previous job. So aside from that, I am also willing to learn and be taught. I think that is necessary for you to be an effective employee. So I believe these are my strengths. So yun lang po. Next. Number five is what are your weaknesses? Sorry. Hindi ko natanggal yung, hindi ko napalitan yung number. So, isa rin to sa lagi-laging tinatanong at masyado tong um, controversial. Kasi karamihan sa sagot dito is negative talaga. So, nagbibigay ako ng tip paano nyo sasagutin to. Okay, number one, never ever put yourself down with this question by saying, I am stubborn, I easily give up on tasks given to me or I am too shy. No, wag na wag mong gagawin yon. Your main goal is to pick one of your weaknesses and turn, turn them sorry, into strengths. So, this is how you ask this question. Pipili ka ng isa mong weakness, ipapaliwanag mo kung bakit, bakit naging weakness yon. then i to turn mo siya into positive attribute or, po, or into strengths mo. So, ito yung sagot ko. When I was little until I grew up, I used to be too shy to face with new people, especially professional ones. However, little by little, I came to realize that being too shy don't do anything good to me. In fact, that is the reason why I sometimes miss opportunities laid in front of me. So, I started overcoming that shyness by becoming more confident. Okay? So, dapat ganyan yung sagot mo. Next. Number six is, if I were to hire you, what will you contribute to this organization or company? So, tatanungin ka nila, kung i-hire kita, anong makukuha ko sa'yo? So, here are my tips to answer this question. Number one is, this is the part where you can tell whether you've got the interviewee's attention to give you a chance and be hired. So, pag tinanong ka kung, ng ganitong question, isipin mo na, ay, malapit na ako sa katotohanan. Yun. The number two, always focus on what the company needs that you have. Offer that. Okay? Mag-focus ka. Ano ba yung ginagawa ng iyong job description? In my case, nag-apply ako as office engineer that time. So, kailangan masabi ko kung ano-ano yung ginagawa ng isang office engineer at kailangan masabi ko sa kanila na meron akong qualities ng isang office engineer. So, ayun, kailangan ibenta ko yung sarili ko sa kanila. Kailangan maniwala sila na may ganun akong kakayahan. At ang sikreto nun is maging confident ka. At para maging confident ka, you have to prepare. So, eto yung sagot ko sa question na to. As passer of civil service exam, I believe I am fully equipped with the qualifications necessary for this job. I can also use my previous job experience to work with my office mates harmoniously and I will surely utilize my technical skills with the degree I am holding. Okay? So, parang sinamarize ko na lahat ng qualities na meron ako na pasok sa tanong na to. Next. How much do you want to be compensated? So, eto yung isa sa pinakamahirap sagutin na tanong. Kasi normally, eto talaga yung pinaka-center ng interview. So, eto yung tip ko sa'yo. Make sure not to mention amounts of money, especially if this is your first time to apply and you don't have job experience. Okay? Huwag na tayong mag-presyo ng 
um, na magiging kabayaran sa atin or na magiging sweldo natin, lalo na kung wala pa tayong experience. Okay? At first time natin mag-apply. Pero, tip number two, kung meron ka ng experience, pwede ka nang magbanggit ng amount. Pero, lagi mo pa rin sasabihin na willing kang makipag-negotiate sa amount na binigay mo. Then, number three, expect mo na makaka-encounter ka ng mababang offer, lalong-lalo na kung graduate ka pero wala kang license, graduate ka pero wala kang eligibility, at graduate ka pero wala ka pang experience. So, medyo mababa pa yung offer sa'yo. When I applied, hindi pa sila minimum wage. Ang offer nila sa akin is 10,000 to 12,000 pesos kasi wala naman akong license. Para kung may license ako, ang entry level nila is 20,000 pesos. Pero since hindi nga, hindi nga ako licensed, 12,000 yung offer nila sa akin or 10 to 12,000 yung offer nila sa akin that time. Tapos April noon is na-approve na yung minimum wage nila. So ngayon 13k na yung average na pasahod sa mga government employees pero syempre depende pa rin yon sa salary grade na i-offer sa iyo. Okay? So next tip or this is the last question by the way. Oy, no. Ito pala yung sagot ko sa question na yun. With my previous job, I am compensated above or minimum wage. So, with this new job I am applying for, I am looking for an offer a little bit higher than that, considering my experience. However, I am still willing to negotiate with that. So, yun. Last, do you have any questions for me? Okay, so sinabi ko nga sa tip ko kanina sa inyo, kapag tinanong kayo nito, lagi kayong mag-come up ng isang idea or isang tanong man lang sa mag interview sa inyo. Okay, so ito yung tip ko. Sorry sa background noise. Alright, so always come up. Always come up with question or questions to be asked to the interviewer. Sorry, always yan. Next, the question should be relevant to the job you're applying. Never ask personal question. Number three, think the interviewee and give him or her your sweetest gesture. Okay? Sabi ko nga, kailangan meron talaga kayong maitatanong, pero yung tanong na yun, kailangan related pa rin sa ina-applyan mong trabaho. Kapag maganda yung nag interview sa sa'yo, huwag mong tatanungin, may boyfriend ka na ba? Huwag <laughs> mong tatanungin, idadrop ka yan, hindi ka papasa sa interview. So, huwag mong gagawin yun, okay? Siyempre, magpasalamat ka na lang sa kanila. Then, give them your sweetest gesture. It could be your smile and others, Okay? So, ito yung sagot ko. Maikli lang yung sagot ko sa tanong na yan. Ang sasabihin ko, yes, I have. When will I start? Okay? So, ito yung parang pinaka-bold na way para sabihin, parang iparating mo sa kanila na, okay, sa interview na to, kailangan hard talaga ako. So, tinanong ko na talaga, kailan ako mag-uumpisa? Then, usually, sinasabi nila, Uh, ang sabi nila sa akin that time, iti-text kita within 2 to 3 days. Alright, so that is the end of our video. Sana po may natutunan kayo. If yes, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more upcoming educational contents. I will also appreciate if you will leave a comment down below. Because I will surely answer to each of those. By the way, this is Nayumi once again. Sending you hugs and kisses. Wishing you a happy day today. God bless you. And congratulations in advance. And of course, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!